What's up guys, how y'all doing today? Excuse the wrinkles, um, I don't know what the title of this video is gonna be. This story time is about my first interaction with the police, where I felt like my skin color was really a factor, you know what I'm saying, man? So this happened in 2018, the second semester of my freshman year, um, Black Panther had just came out, and me and my friends have been trying to figure out a way to see it for a while. We finally got the plan together. We got the um, group together. We decided, okay, we're going to go see on this day. So we had just seen Black Panther. Like, when I tell you, we had literally just, like, walked out Black Panther. We were all Wakanda forever. And we was all T'Challa this, T'Challa that. We was Black Panther out, you know what I'm saying? You know how big that movie was, especially for the black community when it came out, you know what I'm saying? And so we were we were done seeing, we had just seen Black Panther. We had gone to Waterburger afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm having a good time, I'm talking to my friends. We, we're chit-chatting, we're having a great time, you know, just laughing and just having a good time. We were there maybe at 45 minutes to an hour. I'm not really sure how long we was there, but we was there for a pretty good amount of time for everyone to eat, get their food done. So we got to leave, right? And you know, and so we're playing around, we're having a good time, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know where this voice is like, are you drunk? So I look around just to see what's going on because obviously we ain't had no drinks. No one around me has had no drinks. Um, I'm 19 and I'm gonna show you a picture of what I look like during this time because I look super young. I don't even look like I'm supposed to be in college. You know what I'm saying, man? And for that, somebody to ask me that question, it's like, okay, um, what are you talking about? So I look around and there's this cop and he's like, he's not like walking towards us, but he's watching us. like. The way the parking lot was set up is like he was here with his little car or whatever and we're here and my friend's car is here so he's like across the I guess drive from us or whatever and he's like drunk and I was like no like I'm I'm chilling I'm fine obviously I first of all don't even look old enough to drink so if you're, if you're asking me if I'm drunk since you be asking me if I'm legal because I, I promise you I do not look legal to drink at this time, you know, matter of fact, look at the picture right now. Now, at this point in my life, people are still asking me when I tell them I'm a freshman if I'm me in high school or college. Like, people are still assuming that I'm in high school. So, there is no way you could have thought I was illegal enough to drink. So, that, that's a whole different subject that bothers me. But he was like, are you drunk? No. I'm fine. I said, no, I'm cool. I said, like, no, I'm fine, no, I'm cool. And then he goes, well, you know, public intoxication is like a misdemeanor felony or some kind of charge. And I was like, okay. Like, because that would make sense to me because I'm not drunk. I'm not publicly intoxicated. And even if I was, bro, who just let me get in the car? Like, you see these, like, 10 people around me. If anything, let them put me in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not bothering you. Like, as soon as you ask me the question, like, I stopped playing. I was like, no. And now, and now I'm upset, and because of the conversation I've had with my mother about what you're supposed to do in that situation, I'm walking into the car because I realize if I talk any longer, if I give me a pushback, this could be way different. You know what I'm saying, man? So in my mind, it's like, what are you talking about? But I know I can't sell that. So I'm walking into the car, and I'm like, I'm not drunk. I'm fine. And he's like, okay, just making sure. Don't want to arrest you or whatever. I was like whatever and I get in the car you know what I'm saying man and we all just kind of pile in the car and we just pull off and and that was that you know what I'm saying man I understand that that could have been way worse for me you know what I'm saying like had that gone any other way I could have ended up in jail I could have ended up with a gun in my face I could have ended up with so many other outcomes happening than that what happened and I just feel like that's not right you know what I'm saying, man? Because I feel like, first of all, I didn't look old enough to drink. So why are you even asking me about drinking? I'm thinking, if I was white, would you be asking me these same questions? You know what I'm saying, man? And on top of all that, like, even if anything was wrong like that, just let me get in the car. Like, if you see me not try and drive, like, even, even at the start of all this, I wasn't trying to drive. I was clearly staying. I'm going to just open your door, man. That's why I was saying something like that to my friend. Like, I'm just going to open your door. I'm just going to open it for you. Like, we was playing around, man. So, that that also is like, even if I was drunk, bro, just let me get in the car. You know what I'm saying, man? And I feel like, 
had I not been black and had I not been wearing my hoodie, that situation goes completely different. I feel like he don't even say nothing to us. You know what I'm saying? I just, it bothers me to this day. I've never, I was going to tell the story when it happened, but I waited because I didn't want to worry anybody in my family. I didn't want to worry nobody close to me. Like, the only people who know this, this story is my mother, um, my youth pastor, and the people who were there. No one else has ever heard this story before. Um, I do realize that, like, it's not the worst story ever. Like, I realized I was not handcuffed. I was not put on the ground. They didn't pull a gun on me, a taser on me. They didn't put their, um, um, in a chokehold and have their knee on my back or on my neck. So I, I'm thankful that the situation didn't get that bad and didn't have that outcome. But at the same time, I feel like there should, there should have been no interaction there. There should have been no outcome. There should have been no talking. I said, like it said, have not happened. And I feel like it purely did happen because I'm with him because we're all black. And I guess I was act. I can't even say I was acting around. I was just playing with my friend, but I guess to him, I was doing something I'm not supposed to do. Like I'm not supposed to have a good time with my friends. I'm not supposed to be loud with my friends. You know what I'm saying? Man? So that truly, truly bothers me. And it's scary because I feel like that's not going to be the only time I'm in a situation like that. Like I feel like. Again, in my life, I'll be in another situation and it might turn out worse. I might actually get handcuffed. I might actually get thrown to the ground. You know what I'm saying, man? Because of the color of my skin and my gender. And I just feel like that's not right. And that's not fair. And we really need to change stuff like that. You know what I'm saying, man? Because, like... Because it's like, I, I don't know how me and myself would look in my son's face and be like, Hey, man, because of the color of your skin... And because the fact that you are a male, you are going to be a target. You are going to be harassed. You are going to be messed with. You are going to be pulled out of the car for no reason. You might be with a group full of other people, but you're going to somehow be the most suspicious person. You're going to be the person they're going to pick out, talk to. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know how I have that conversation. I don't want to have that conversation with my future son. You know what I'm saying, man? But yeah, man, that's what happened to me. Um, like I said, I'm not saying it's the worst thing that ever happened in the world. I understand there are people with way worse stories and way worse situations, but I feel like we shouldn't have all of these stories, you know what I'm saying? We shouldn't have these situations going on because, like I said, the color of your skin should not make you a target or a threat to anyone, you know what I'm saying, man? Because that's something you can't control. And, but yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it um, gave you some insight, opened your eyes, it put you on to experience that you may have not ever experienced or it made you think like oh wow like this dude does stupid stuff on youtube all the time this dude just talks about the texans all the time and when it came down to it this is how he was seen by the cops you know what i'm saying man like like if i can just like open your eyes to like how you see a person and how a person perceived by law enforcement is completely different based purely on the color of their skin, you know what I'm saying? Because to me, there's nothing scary about me. Look, bro, you see how there's nothing scary about me, especially when you go through and watch all my YouTube videos. Like, bro, there's really nothing scary about me. But anyway, um, like I said, I hope this video opened your eyes, gave you some insight. I hope it was, um, I don't know, man. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I can say. Um, go ahead, like this video, share this video, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Um, if you don't have something, nothing positive to say, I feel like you're still going to say it. I'm going to be there. You know, if you comment, I'm going to respond. Um, or, yeah. Um, Y'all stay icy. God above all else, take serious. Out.